What up, y'all? What up, y'all? Uh, I want y'all to see something. Maybe y'all have seen this already, but I'm just trying to show y'all this. This, this wasn't a few months ago. This uh, apparently happened today. This is a Ricky Smiley Live from earlier today. Uh, you know, he's making his coffee. You know, he usually <laughs> likes sugar. All of a sudden, listen closely. Ricky begins so sobbing, uh, gets quietly in, in the corner. Well, you a little louder. <laughs> Off camera. Can you get your water or something, man? <laughs> oh, okay. You okay? All right. Yeah. You get it, man? Thank you. Thank you. you sure? Now, I'm really yeah. kind of confused, man. Uh, of course, of course. I'm trying to understand what the narrative is. What the narrative is gonna be on this? Um, Cat Williams, he came out. He did the the, the, the uh, interview on Club Shay Shay. Uh, very uh, compelling interview. It was three hours long. Seemed like it was just went by in no time. Um, in response to this interview, uh, there's been several people that made responses to what Cat to the names to sit the coach. Cat Williams, he did. He pulled a Tupac. He he, he called out names. He put Ice Cube called out names, you know, like if you're going to say something about somebody and you and, and it's in your chest, say it with your chest, use names and they can name names. Um, so now, you know, generally, as they say, the, the, the clapback, the clapback is always felt the hardest. You know, uh, don't nobody don't nobody hear when the first shots is thrown is, is let off. They just hear the clapback. You, because especially when the clapback comes as forceful as Cat Williams bought his clapback. So I, I'm trying to understand the crying. You know, today I saw I was watching Tony Baker, another comedian. You know, he was talking about he went talk. We went to talking about segregation in comedy, talking about the white folks some, somehow, and, and you know, and what the black folks was doing. Um, and he started crying. I'm like, nigga, well, in, well, in my mind, I'm like, nigga, what you, what are you, what are you crying for? Um. Cat, what Cat Williams said has evidently uh, frightened them people money. You know, they they expecting to do big shows. Cat Williams uh, with a couple lines hit either your whole situation. And, you know, they know uh, Kevin Hart has a big project coming out. That's why he interpolated it into um, his supposed clapback. You know, you got uh, Ice Cube got to come out and say something. Everybody, everybody, DC. I was watching DC Curry podcast. DC Curry and came out and said something. He said he only watched twenty minutes of the interview. Man, come on, DC. You know y'all, y'all niggas ain't got the lot of kicking, man. But at least you said, uh, kind of how you you could you was reluctant to say that the most of what he said, what Cat Williams said, is true. And that's the problem with it all. The problem with it all is that these people have their so-called comebacks and things of that nature, but they have yet to say what well, now nah, this nigga well maybe ludicrous, but hell, that nigga wrote a rhyme. So, you know, you know, rappers always lie in their lyrics. So it did not you know, he might been saying, you know, <laughs> he might be trying to cover with something. You know. <laughs> I don't wanna say that I really did come from them parties, so I better rap about it. I never came from them parties. Look at all the bitches I got in the money and my watch on my arm. It's an amazing time we live in, 2024. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I've he got the guy, he got them guys scrambling. The industry is scrambling. Why, why would the industry need to be scrambling if everybody stood on business? You know, you segregate the companies. I don't want nobody to feel like just because. Uh, Cat Williams said this about Kevin Hart. They don't like Kevin Hart. If a nigga funny, they gonna laugh at your shit. They really kind of wait to see what you gonna say back. Cause really, the nigga did kind of take a lot of snaps. He snatched, he snatched souls on Shannon Sharp's uh, Club Shay Shay on that very fast sofa. You know, you know the, the, the high dollar sofa. You know, Shannon Sharp. He do the best he can in his interviewing. You know, my, my brother. You know, uh, hey. I can't hate on a nigga got 15 million views in a, in a day, a day and a half. That is ridiculous numbers for YouTube. Cut that man his check. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, nigga nation or nothing. <laughs> Peace and love. Uh, 
Shout out to Charles of White. Right, keep it classy, brother. You ain't got to get in the middle of none of this. They want you to get in the middle of it and, and take sides. Nah, man, don't take nobody's side. You know, what's understand doesn't have to, what, what's understand don't have to be explained. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Peace and love. I'm out.